So what it's asking us to do on this problem is it's asking us to graph using the x and y intercepts. You guys need to remember what the x and y intercepts are. The x and y intercepts are when we have a graph, all right? The x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. Now there's two important points about these two points. At the x-axis, please stop tapping, your x, your x, remember uh, every point on a graph has an x and y coordinate, right? It tells you how far to go along the x-axis and it tells you how far to go along the y-axis. So every point has an x, y. There's two important things though when you have intercepts. One is at the x-intercept, my y-value is equal to zero. And the important thing at the y-intercept is my x-value is equal to zero. Now, the reason why that is so important, so when I say on this problem to find the x and y-intercept, every single person's problem answer should look like this. Everybody needs to stop and look up here, because I'm not seeing a lot of this. Every single person should have the equation written down and then I should see two things, x-intercept, y-intercept. For the x-intercept, I should see a zero in for the y. Then for the y-intercept, I should see a zero in for the x. I should see this for every single person's problem that they're doing, every single one. Do you guys see how it's written up there? I should see that for every single problem. You put a zero in for the x, or a zero for the y for an x-intercept, and you put a zero for the x for the y-intercept. Then you solve for your variable. This is like, right, beginning of the year, solving for variables. So now, five times zero is zero plus five. X equals five. Done. And you have to, that was very easy. This one's a little more difficult. Here, I have to get rid of all my 5. So I first have to get rid of the 5 that's adding to it. So I have negative 5 equals 5y. Then I divide by the 5, and I get negative 1 equals y. Okay? Then what I do, ladies and gentlemen, is I put these values back as coordinate points. So x equals 5 over there, so it becomes 5 comma 0. And over here, my y is a negative 1, so this becomes... 0 comma negative 1. Then what I do is I just graph the two points. So 5, 0 tells you to go 5 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 0, negative 1 tells you to go 1 unit down. Okay? Does that help some of you guys out? Every single problem you guys do should be looking exactly like this. Set it up correctly. If you have a problem algebraic, I'd be more than happy to see you, but I'm not even seeing you guys setting this up like that. So make sure you guys set that up, and then you can, guys can go and graph it. Okay? All right. Let's get back to work then.